Hello everyone, Technosuth Craig Chamberlain here. This is the virus removal series, and uh, this is going to be the debuting episode. And uh, the first thing we're going to do before we show you how to remove those hard to remove viruses, such as root kits and uh, deeply embedded viruses that bypass or disable your antivirus, uh, we need to run a backup, a very good backup, that we can uh, make sure your information is safe in the instance that removing the virus causes inadvertent damage to your system and you lose your data. Now this does happen with deep infections such as root kits, uh, but the tools we're going to be using will hopefully be able to repair your operating system without causing that kind of corruption. Uh, so just in case, we're going to go through the backup recovery process in this first episode. Um, all you have to do is go down to the start menu and click run, type in msconfig, msconfig, and press enter, launch your system restore. Under the welcome to system restore menu, just go to create a restore point and then click next. I typically type in the date, so I'm going to go October 26th, 2009, and then I go to create. Once the restore point is created, it'll let you know and it'll tell you the date and time in which you did it, and then just click home or click cancel. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is back up your registry, click start and click run, type in regedit, or E-G-E-D-I-T, press enter, scroll up to the top, click file export, I again type in the date, October 26, 2009, and for your drive, you always want to choose a removable media. So really, if you're backing up your computer before removing a very deep infection, you usually want to try to copy it onto an external thumb drive or a flash drive. Now, I know that sometimes the viruses can come along with that, but we'll discuss that later. So select whatever drive, then click Save. Now, lastly, of course, you want to back up your critical data, such as your pictures, your videos, and things like that. The best way to navigate to all the things you've stored locally on your machine because typically it defaults to my documents, is I go to the C drive, and then you go to documents and settings, and here you're gonna find all the users that are actually located on your computer, and you can drag and drop this entire folder onto an external thumb drive or an external hard drive. Or you can simply right click and click copy. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna back up all of your profile information, including your Windows Explorer or Internet Explorer favorite places. It's gonna back up your My Documents folder, which includes, of course, your videos, your pictures, and your music, and things like that. Um, now, if you right-click on your actual profile and you select Properties, you're going to actually be able to see the size of that profile as well. So you can determine how big of a thumb drive do I need, how big of an external hard drive do I need. You may have to burn multiple backups onto a DVD. Uh, there's a number of ways you can do backups, but like I said, if we're going to run through a deep infection removal process, you'll probably want to make sure you back up all the data you do not want to lose. You should be doing this anyways, so hopefully you already have a, a backup system and process to handle that. And uh, make sure you've backed up all your critical data, and that's all I'm going to do for the first episode. You're going to have to bear with me, and uh, thanks for stopping by, comment and rate, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned because uh, we're going to keep moving forward with this series. Thanks again.